Get out. You shot me. This is for Jordan. Get out of here, shark. This isn't about you. Ghetto, what are you doing? Why would you shoot Nick? Corey told me the whole story, shark. He told me how Nick framed Red for killing Jordan. He deserves to die. Oh. Ghetto, I don't know what Red or Corey told you, but Nick is your friend. He's been with us since the beginning. He's bleeding out. Help me get him downstairs to the professor. Gentlemen, listen up. We've come a long way, and I'm happy to announce that we're very close to reaching our goal. That being said, we still need order, which is why I'm appointing Corey our new general. It's been a pleasure to fight with you. I hope you all can appreciate the risk I took in joining you. I expect that same level of loyalty in return. These men will do anything you command of them. I'm trusting you to keep them in line. I won't let you down. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Professor, he's been sleeping for ages. When's he gonna get up? Honestly, Shark, I don't know. It's too uh, its too hard to tell in his condition. We uh, have to wait it out, unfortunately. But Shark? Nick! Professor? Nick, you're awake! Quickly, let me take some vitals. Oh, what, what happened? I, oh, I feel like... Oh, I feel terrible. Here, here, drink this. Oh, thank you. Well... I've been sleeping for, well, three days. No wonder Please. you feel this bad. Three days? I don't remember any of it. I, I remember finding Ghetto and then nothing. Yeah, Ghetto got you. It's just... Red he was confused. He yeah, you can go with that. He shot me, was well... That doesn't make any sense. Why would... Why would Ghetto shoot me? I mean... I'm his friend. We were Red. trying to rescue him. Red put some interesting thoughts into his head. I think that's what we've deduced from now. He's... Listen, he didn't mean it. Well, he yeah. won't talk to any of us. Oh. Yeah, he hasn't... He hasn't opened up to any of us. He's been very distant. Well, well where is he? Is he safe? I have to... I have to go find... Ah! Oh. Nick. Nick. Office. Stay in bed. Need your rest. You've been asleep for three days. You can't just get up and start running a marathon. Well, where is he? Is he okay? And the others, AK, Uni, Major Everyone's Gray. Everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Ghetto's just down the hall. When you're ready, go see him. Well, yeah, I mean, where are we? I'll wake up. We... Is this the CDC? Yes, this is the CDC. Major Gray secured it. Red retreated. Everything is fine. Well... Just need to rest. I still don't understand, but... I, I feel like I could okay, definitely man. use some rest, so... I You're think safe. you guys might be right. Oh. Let your... Just let your body get used to actually functioning for... You know, after that three-day rest. Then when you're feeling up to it, then you can go and... See if you could talk to Ghetto. Yes. Okay. What he said. Well... I think I'm just gonna go to bed. It's it's really confusing. We'll be back to check on you. I just don't understand it, but you're right. I should rest. Good. All right. We'll be back to check on you. Okay. Thank you guys. Be well, Nick. Bye. Is that Major Cray? Major no. Cray. Nick, you're up! Yeah. Oh man, how you feeling? Well, uh, can't complain. What are you doing here? It looks like... Looks like the wall's in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm just trying to put it last bits together. Well, Not too much now. Here, do you need a hand? I mean, I could try um, and lift something. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick, uh, calm, calm down. You were just shot and you were out for three days. Need a rest. Three days? 
Yeah, I, I keep forgetting it's been that long. Well, what happened? I mean, obviously everything's been kind of put back to normal. Is is Red, does this mean, does this mean Red's gone? Yeah, that little weasel jumped out of here as soon as we started fighting back properly. Came in like a snake and then retreated as soon as we started, you know, trying to get him. Sounds like Red. He's never been one to fight fair. Well, not at all. I, I think these reinforcements are really great, Major. I mean, did you do all this yourself? Pretty much, yeah. I've been doing this for two hours now, so well, not much left to do. Looks great, but wait. I'm still confused. I've been out for so long, I just... I don't know what's going on. I, I've seen Shark, but... And the Professor. He's alright. What about the others? AK? No. Uni? No, AK's okay. Uni's good. Uh, all of them are pretty good, except for, uh, Cory, of course. Wait, Cory? What happened to Cory? Wait, you haven't heard? I heard what? No one's told me anything. They just say I should be resting and... Well, I feel Nick. like it just happened, and... I don't know how to tell you this, man, but... Or he betrayed you. He told Red where to go through and blasted open the doors. He was his man on the inside. As what? I told you, somebody had to be on the inside to get him in. Corey? No, that that can't be true. Corey would never have betrayed us. Where is he? I I'm gonna go talk to him about this. I, I don't know. That's the thing. He retreated with Red. He's the one who told Ghetto all those lies, and that's why he shot you. Oh no, Ghetto. I didn't even think about him. He must be feeling terrible, and I still haven't apologized for leaving him back at the prison. Well... Well, he's inside if you want to go talk to him. I think that's probably a good idea, and... You know what? Thanks for telling me, Major Gray. It's It's been a while since, I guess, anyone's told me any of this stuff. I, I just feel like I've missed so much in the three days and it's like trying to get my memories back that I don't have. It's been rough. Well, you go inside to him. Oh, and Nick, call me Gray. There's no point. There's no formalities needed anymore. Not much of an army left here, so well, Gray will do. Alright, Gray, good job on the wall and well, I think I'm going to go talk to Ghetto now. Okay, see you soon. Uh, hey man. Uh, Nick, uh, hey man, how, how, how are you, how you feel, man? Oh, uh, better, but listen, Ghetto, there's something I need to talk to you about. The prison, I, I didn't know what would happen, would happen, I didn't know you would have been taken by Red, and, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if I had known, I wouldn't have left you, and... I just want you to know that me, Shark, AK, we never stopped searching for you, not once. I just wish we could have found you sooner. I'm sorry. Nick, it's, please, you don't, you don't need to be apologizing. It's, it's, it's me. I, I should be apologizing, man. It's, look, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I, I shot you. It's, it's, Red, he just got in my head and. Corey even convinced me even further. It's, they they fed me lies, said that you killed Jordan and all this other bad stuff about you. And since I was with Red the whole time and kind of just filled my head with all these lies and I just couldn't see what was right. I'm 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 sorry. I I'll never doubt the group again. It's just crazy. And well, look. The important thing is, we're back together again, and I think with the group we've got here, Major Gray, even the General, I mean, we've got a good group of people here, and, you know, I think that despite what we've been through, I think there's still some hope, and I know that we lost some, some good friends, and we've lost a lot of people along the way, and we've even been betrayed, I mean... Make no mistake about it, Corey betrayed us all. I can't even believe, I still can't understand why he would do something like that. 
I just I just feel so stupid thinking I could actually begin to trust Red. Well, almost it almost really got us bad. It's not just Red. I mean, Corey lied to you too, and and we, tr we trusted him. He he had him with us the whole time. Exactly. I don't know what could have possessed him to turn on us like that. I don't think anyone would have done anything different in your shoes, Ghetto. If Corey came up to me and told me that someone in our group was bad, well, he'd given us no reason not to trust him. I just don't know. I don't know if I would have done anything different, so let's just let the past be in the past. The important thing is now we're together and we're a group and we're stronger than ever. So look, besides, look where we are. I mean, who would have thought? From Seaport to the CDC, right? It's been a long road. Yeah. Just to start, man. Oh, here. Uh, I got you something. It's probably not, not too fresh, but... We haven't seen any in a while, so I figured you might want a can. Oh. Th thanks. I haven't seen one of these in a little while. Well... Thank you. Anyway, well, I think I'm gonna go check on... Check on Uni. See if I can find out where he is. It's, uh, it's probably been pretty hard on him. Yeah. Knowing that, you know, one of his men is turned on all of us. Go ahead, man. I'm, I'm just gonna chill out here for a little while. Alright, well, I was gonna eat this, but here. Since you haven't seen any in a while, I think you should have it. I'll catch you later, Ghetto. Alright, th thanks, man. Take it easy. Oh, General? Oh, Nick, what are you doing up? Well, I just, I woke up and I couldn't spend any more time in bed. I'm just, to be honest, I'm just still kind of disoriented. I'm not used to missing three days. It's Well, if strange. you're disoriented, you should go back to bed, all right? Well, look, I, I'm fine, Uni. Just, I came to check on you, honestly. How are you doing? I'm fine. Doesn't sound like it. Well, I'm just... I don't know how, how I'm feeling at the moment, Nick, right? First of all, right, a zombie plague comes along, destroys my base, right? Then I have my stuff stolen. Then I'm told to come to the CDC because there's a cure. And then, my own sergeant betrays me. My own right-hand man, Corey, betrays me. And I'm just not feeling very, you know, not in the best of moods right now, Nick, so... Well, look, <sighs> Uni, I, I understand that you're feeling upset about Corey, but, you know, none of us saw it coming. He betrayed us all, and, you know, who knows how long he was feeding information to Red. I don't know when he would have... Well, if I ever see that traitor... Take him out myself. Jeez, you need stop. Don't don't shoot right in here. Come on. Alright, I'll I'll take him out. Just calm down, Uni. Just calm down. Here. Nick, drink we some have water. a problem. No, it's alright, Major Gray. That was just Uni. No. That's not the problem. I don't I don't really care about that. Look. With all my men wounded or gone it yeah. We don't have enough people guarding the CDC anymore. We don't have anybody guarding Major. Shut right? up. Okay, look, that's not the point. Seriously. Even if we take shifts, it will be way too much for us now. Well, what do you mean? I I'm losing my mind trying to figure this out. I mean, we are down a few men and, you know, we've got people helping in the lab with the professor. <laughs> Gray's right. I don't... I don't suppose you have any other friends in the area, do you? Um, well, not many uh, friends, no. Yeah. Well, n actually, Nick. What about that guy we found in the forest on the way here? Who, Bobby? Yeah, that guy. You know, he helped us out. Well, yeah, but that was way back in the woods. I mean, but can he be trusted? Well, he got us to the CDC. To be honest. I don't think we would have found you guys food. without him. 
could have easily taken advantage of us and let us into a trap, but it seemed like he was a good person. No, I think yeah. he can be trusted, but besides, that's not the point. Uni, what makes you think Bobby would want to help us? I mean... I don't know, like, I've... I think... I think he might... I think he might be a good pair of hands to help out around here. He seems to know the area a lot more than we do. Well... No, any set of hands would help nowadays. Well... You're just one. I do remember where we found him, and... I mean, that campsite looked like he'd been there for a while. Can't imagine he'd gone far, so... If you think yeah, it'll Robert. help, Major Gray, we can definitely go back and ask him. Yep. Well, I don't see any reason why not to. We need the help anyways. Well, yep, we I guess... need as much help as we can, because we need to find Red's men, find that traitor, Corey. Look, General, one step at a time, alright? Let's go talk to Bobby, and we'll see what he has to say. I'm sure, if he's as good a person as we think he is, he won't have a problem helping us. Not once he knows exactly. the full situation. Exactly. We'll leave tomorrow oh. morning, okay, so you guys can get some rest. It's almost night. Okay. Sounds good, No Major. point searching in the dark. Fine, whatever. I'm, I'm going to bed. Alright. Good Guess night, it's guys. another all-nighter for me. Good night. <sighs> Major, have you got all the stuff ready for the flight? I'm trying to get the last few instruments ready to go. Alright. Oh. Are you guys almost ready to leave? Uh, yeah, we're just like, sort of just packing yeah, well, oh. up some supplies hey, and stuff, you know, making sure everything's ready, you know? Okay, well, is there anything I can give you a hand with, or are we all set? Uh, we're no, almost I all set. I, yeah, I can pretty I just have to do a little bit of uh, adjustments inside. But what you could help me with, uh, who actually know where this Bobby lives? Well, uh, last uh, we saw him, he had a campsite in the woods. I Wasn't guess... it off by the highway, you know, when we were captured? Yeah, yeah, it was. So, if you could get us onto the highway, uh, we'll be able hopefully to point it out. Hopefully you guys know the exact, hopefully yeah, you guys hopefully. know the exact patch of highway. <laughs> yeah, it's, near that big truck, remember, Uni? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if there's, like, a big, like, reddish, like, uh, like, truck thing, uh, and, like, you know, a bunch of cars all smashed up near it, so... We should be able- you should be able to spot it quite easily, so... If you can well, drop us that... there, it shouldn't be more than, a, you know, a day's march. I mean, we'll be able to get yeah. there and back in a couple days tops. Yeah, pretty much. Fantastic. You gotta get this thing back before it runs out of fuel, so... As long as it's not too far, we're ready to go. You got How everything you need? How have we got? Oh, I've got Oh, everything. we got a full tank. It's all good. Okay. I've got everything I need. Uh, is everyone else good? Yeah, I'm good. ready. Um... I've got everything I need. Alright, let's hop on. Go ahead. Don't you? It's gonna be some last minute adjustments. Okie dokie. Well, hurry up, Major. We need to get going. And touchdown. Oh my god. Major, I think you need to do some more training on, you know, some more flight training. Why's that? Uh, it's just, you know, not the best uh, helicopter ride. Guys, I think we've got what, bigger problems yeah. than that. It looks like oh, we landed oh, in the middle great. of a board. Uh, Might as well get taking them out. Nick, help me out over here. Let's take them right. out. Uh, take them right. over there. I'll take these guys out. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to hit them with my axe from up here. Really? Yeah. Just make Lucky sure you. they don't bite you, Nick. They might Stay back. Don't go over. It. Well, they can't reach me. Don't worry. I think oh, that I'm might be the last there. of them, too. Oh. Ugh. Are you alright? down, Nick. General? General, yeah, I'm you fine. okay? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Well. Apples. Oh. Some good news. It looks like we did make it. Uh, this looks like the right area. Uni, yeah, remember this truck? This is where we got kidnapped. Uh, kidnapped? Yeah, it is. Oh, heads oh, up. Wow. More to our right. Jeez. I guess there must be quite a few around here. Who knows how big that horde is. Uh, yeah, we need to be really careful. We should probably get moving. Uh, here. 
Major Gray, just follow us. We know where we're going. Uni, I think Actually, it's just this way, or... Nick. Yeah, I think it's this way. Actually, I'm going to be staying behind with the helicopter. What? Uh, are you sure that's a good idea, Major? How else are we going to get back? What if somebody comes and takes us? Or what if the uh, some of the walkers get inside? We can't risk that happening. That's Look, you two, know, you, do, you two know Bobby. I don't. I trust you guys' judgment when you're saying you know him, but... Someone has to stay back and guard this helicopter. The it major's shouldn't be right, their view. Nick. We need to make sure that Bobby sees friendly faces. We don't want to bring him new ones. Yeah, that is true. All right, well, look, Major Gray, we'll be back at sundown for you to pick us up, with or without Bobby. Understand? Stand. You stay safe out there, Nick. Same with you, General. Okay, Major. All right. Just keep that helicopter safe, and if there's any sign of trouble... Just, just try and signal us somehow, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Try my best. All right, Guys, let's go, Nick. Good luck out there. All right, come on, Uni. All right, was it this way? Okay. Now, where was it? Was it over here, or...? Uh... I don't know. I mean, everything looks so different without the snow on the ground. I barely yeah, recognize I this place. Really nice around here. It's a shame that, you know, we're, we have to wander through the woods, find something. Uh, someone, sorry. Oh, heads up. I think I just saw a oh. walker. Oh, yep. There he is. I'll take him out. Oh, jeez. I think I just heard another one. There... Okay, uh, we should be alright. I think that okay. should be all of them. Well, look, I mean, I didn't think we were going to be doing this either. You know, last okay. thing I would have expected was Corey to betray us. I just, I don't think I saw it coming. I, 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 I just can't believe it. You know, it's just... <sighs> kind of hurts a little bit to know that you know he was like he was my he wasn't just a good soldier he was he was my best friend and and he betrayed that you know it's it's not easy for me either i mean generally you knew him longer than i did and he had you fooled too but i don't know part of me just thinks i i should have seen it i should have realized that he was going to betray us, and... I should have seen it. You oh, know. Watch out. Alright. I should have seen it. You know? I mean, <laughs> he was under my command for years. Ah! <sighs> well, look, the important thing is, we've got good people with us now. And, you know, if we manage to find Bobby, then we'll have a couple other good people. And, and it's never a bad well, thing. Just try and move forward from it and at least have a little bit of hope in humanity. Well, you know, in my line of work, hope, it, you know, doesn't come cheap. Let's, uh, let's just find this guy and let's get back. Alright, oh, sounds good. I think he should be over here, Nick. Oh, great. Okay, hold Not on, Uni. Again. You just reload. Oh, uh, Uni! Uh, I, I can't get a clear shot. What are you doing? Uni, stop. Just... Uni. Uni, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, Uni? I had a clear shot on those walkers, and you just rushed in front of me. What gives? I just... I just had to let it out, all right? I couldn't hold it in anymore, okay? It was just, I just, I just couldn't do it anymore. All right, it was just, I just saw them, I just saw red, and I just had to go off. I just had to take them out. Uni, you need to control your anger. If you keep firing off shots like that, who knows how many walkers you'll attract? Ah, uh, well. Ooh, maybe I thought you're I heard right a there. commotion. Who's there? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait, Nick, is that you? Bobby? Wait. Bobby. Hey, how you doing? Bobby, I, I can't believe it. We must have made it pretty close to your camp. We've been looking all over for you. 
Oh yeah, I'm not too far from here. What were you guys doing shooting off like that? You don't remember anything that I taught you, Nick. Well, uh, I have a suppressor, I'm but... Blame for this. Um, yeah. Probably, like, I kind of needed to let off some steam, and uh, I kind of forgot myself. Yeah. Luckily, Nick was there to pull me back. Remember, oh. if you guys shoot off like that, you're going to attract a lot more walkers around here. But wait, why are you here in the first place? That's what I was telling him, but... Well, Bobby, we're here to talk to you. I can't oh. go into the details right now, it's just too much of a long story, but... Basically, we found the group of people that we were looking for in the city, and... Well, that's good, right? Well, it's good and bad. It's good because this, this group we're with, well, they think that they might be close to working out some form of cure for the Wait, walkers. Yeah. Wait, a cure? Yeah, I mean... a, like a real working cure, Bobby. Hopefully. I know anyway. it sounds crazy, but that's why we were heading into the city, to meet up with the CDC to see if there was any scientists still working. And there are, wow. but right now we're just so short-handed. And, you know... And we figured uh, you was Eden. a trustful guy. And, so you uh, need my help? Is well, that what you're asking? We wanted to ask, yeah. I know it's a lot to ask for you to just abandon everything you have here, but... Nick, don't need to say any more. I'm already ready to go. When do we go? Uh, well, if you're that sure, you've got everything you need, uh... What I've got everything I need, I got my backpack, my bow, and my pickaxe in my back. Ready to go. What about your tent? Oh, well that's just a temporary home, we don't need that. Besides, uh, we're heading into the city, we can stay in some of the fancy apartments. <laughs> yeah, we've uh. got shelter, and food, and everything like that, it's just... Well, we could use a few more trustworthy people around, and... Pretty much. Don't worry. I'm do I'll do anything to help a few good folk like you. All right. Well, well I know your intentions Bobby. are pure, Nick. Well, thanks, Bobby. It means a lot. We should probably get going. I told Major Gray we'd meet him at sundown, and we barely have enough time to make it back. Yeah. Well, let's head back. Where is he at? Uh, uh, he's well, meeting I us think... at the highway. Yeah. Oh. Well, that shouldn't be too say, far. Maybe you should lead the way. We kind of got ourselves lost on the way here, so... Don't you worry. You got I know yourself it's... lost. I think Ooh, I know whoa. the way, but... Yeah, Bobby, Nick, he's right. You know, I know the best. I know these woods better than anyone. Why don't you just follow me? I'll take you back there. Okay. Alright, good. Head out, boys. Not too much further from here, don't you worry. Oh, well, heads up, oh, Bobby. Heads up. Oh. Uh, huh. Heads up, there's more around the corner. Oh my god, oh, Use your axe. You... Hold on, I'll sneak up on this one. Uh, I don't think it sees any of us yet. Oh! No. oh. Ah, there you go. Nice one. See? See how much easier it is to use your axe instead of a gun? I guess. I'm just not used to being so close to these things. It still freaks me out. Yeah, well, and the smell doesn't do, do them any favors either. No, it doesn't, but when you've been living out here like I have, it's pretty much a second nature. Yeah. Well, right. oh. well, let's get going. Yeah, it's not too much we're, further we're, from here. You know, we're losing daylight, so... It's not too much further. Who knows, we may run into that scientist boy I found a few weeks ago. Wait. Wait. A scientist? What scientist? I'm just some young kid. He was wearing some weird yellow suit. And he was babbling on about some formula, but... I don't know. Just a weird kid. A yellow suit? What formula? Did he say? No, he just said formula. What, what else do you know about this scientist? Is there anything else he said to you? Where he was going, maybe? He didn't say where he was going. He was in. He was just babbling on about this formula and how I needed to replicate it and all that stuff. So I, I gave him some food, some water. I tried to give him some shelter at my campsite, give him some rest, but he wouldn't take it. So I sent him on down to a campsite about two hours from here. Well, uh, Uni, thanks. this sounds like Dr. Jin. I mean, the formula... Yeah. The hazmat suit, everything. It sounds like maybe we he's alive. We should him back with us. Well, that would be easy, but Bobby, you said you don't even know where he is, and you sent him where? Well, to another camp, hours away. If if he went where I told him to, he's only about two hours away from here. But there's only one problem. What's, What's that? that? It's in the opposite direction of where you two want to go. Oh. Besides, we don't have time. Uni, the sun's already setting over the trees. We told Major Gray we'd be back at the helicopter at sundown. We can't All be right. late. Alright, I've got it. I'll go back. You take this. 
Right, it's only a day's worth of food, and maybe Jin might need some of it as well. Uh, I'll go back, t tell uh, the Major what's happened, say that we've got Bobby, and uh, yeah, I'll do that. You like guys it. go get Jin. Sounds like okay. a good plan. Well, Bobby, right. are you sure you know the way? Of course I do. Nick, what have I told you before? I know this woods like the back of my hands. Follow well, me. I hope you do, because we're going to have to move through the night to make good time and get there by morning. Stay all safe, right. Uni. Yeah, you too, uh, Bobby. And keep Nick safe, all right? And Nick, Don't you worry. I will. Make sure you use the melee weapons, all right? Don't use your, don't use your rifle. Don't worry. I've got my axe. All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. Follow me, Nick. Bye, Uni. Whew. Will, Nick, you need something to eat? Uh, yeah. I am getting a little hungry, actually. Here you go. I got some beans for you. Oh. And I got this bottle of water. I got a few, so if you need one, here you go, buddy. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah, really no problem at all. Well, how much farther do you think this camp that you know is? I mean, we've been walking all night. It's almost morning. Well, it's not too much farther, I promise. It just... Really, I just think it's about maybe another mile's walk. Oh, Didn't be much. It's not too bad, but... I hope Dr. Jin's still there. If it even is Dr. Jin, I mean, it sounds an awful lot like him, but... Well, he didn't well, tell me his name, so I don't really know, but... If I describe your friend, then I hope so. Well, I guess the only way to find out is to get there. Well, let's just keep moving. I want to make it oh. back before sundown so we can meet up with Major yeah. Gray. Exactly. Follow me. I was getting worried about you guys. W wait, where's Nick? He got word out that the Dr. Jin might still be alive. Nick and Bobby went to check it out. We're going back for them tomorrow at sundown. Dr. Jin? If he's still alive, it'd be a miracle. Last I saw him was at the prison before Red took over. It's a long shot, but they have to check it out. Dr. Jin might be the only key to finding out Formula X. Geez, I thought it was around here. Somewhere. I don't know, Bobby. I mean, are we going to find oh. it soon? Oh, here it is. Oh, well, I guess <laughs> I spoke too soon. Well, looks like... Huh, what is that down there? Sandbags? It must be yeah, it looks like we're the in town. the town. Yeah, we're really near the town. Come on, let's go see him. Okay, well, jeez, I'm... I really got to hand it to you, Bobby. You definitely know your way around these woods. There were a couple times back there where... Well, I thought we were just, well, just plain lost. Yeah. Well, you gotta trust old Bobby. He knows the way. And there's... Well, people here are really nice. I think you're gonna like them. Come on. Okay. Well, here. This building looks like... I mean, it's the first thing in the town. We should probably let them know we're here. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Uh, hello? Hey, yo. Hello? hello? Uh, anyone, anyone home? Bobby, I'm here. I don't, I don't get it. Why isn't... Why isn't there anyone in here? Yeah, they're probably just in the town center or something, you know. I don't really know. They may be having a town meeting. That's probably it. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go check it out. This uh, is weird. It's a storage facility. I thought they'd have someone here, but guess well, not. Look, this road leads into the town center, but yeah, I don't see anybody. Weird. Yeah. You no, know, I bet they're all safe. You know, they're fine. You know, Jen's pr your buddy Jen's probably with them. Whatever his name is, it Jen. I don't, I don't know, Bobby. Something's something's not right here. I mean, the sun's already up. It's, it's pretty late in the morning, and I don't see anybody out in the town. I mean, I just something's wrong here. This doesn't feel right. Oh, let's let's check out another building. They gotta be around here somewhere. All right. Well, what about Jin? I mean, if the people in this town aren't here, there's no reason to think that Doctor Jin would be here either. We might have just walked all this way for nothing. No, you can't believe in that. You gotta stay optimistic like me. Come on, we'll find him. I promise. Alright, well, yeah. Let's check this building right here. It looks like maybe some sort of store. Uh, hello? See anyone? Uh, I don't see anybody. It's just as empty as the other building. Hello? Uh, well, anyone up there? Let's take a look. I mean, the ladder, there should be uh, someone. Ow! Ow! This hurts my legs. Careful, Hello? Buddy. No one's up here. Huh. 
It's really strange. The bed's made too. Who would make a bed then abandon? Well, I just don't understand where everyone is. I mean, well, there's all right, take a look there's around another, up here. I'm gonna start looting. Somebody there's another access up to the roof, Nick, but I'm not gonna go up there. Yeah, probably best. Uh, and some bacon. And... Whoa, wait, Bobby. What? Bo Bobby, come down here. I think I just saw someone outside. Okay, watch out. Ow, oh. ow, ow. That hurt. Well, I, I thought I saw someone, but I don't, I don't know where they went. You're just tired, Nick. We've been walking all night, you know. Just, just the restlessness getting to you. Come on. Keep Maybe. looking around. Well, Here, which side did you take? Uh, I, I'll check this side, I guess. I was already right. checking one of these chests. Got I'll check over here. Lots of food. Ooh, an here. orange. Got canned food. Uh, wow, even fresh fruit. I haven't seen fresh apples in... I don't even know how long. Ooh, Tats. some cereal. Nick, you want some cereal? Uh, you know, I think I'll stick with the fruit for now, but if you find any peaches, I'm saving those for ghetto. Gotcha. Look at this, more fresh fruit. Bobby, I don't think I would, I don't think this is, I don't think this place is abandoned. I mean, look at this. This apple doesn't look more than a week old, and I haven't found anything that, you know. I found an orange. Yeah. Probably picked. Well, I mean, I guess no one's here, but just be on your toes, all right? Something doesn't add up. Whoa, Bobby? Bobby? What? I just saw someone peeking in the window. I just saw someone peeking in that window. This time I wasn't I wasn't imagining anything. There's definitely somebody out there. Nick, there's no one out here. Look. Oh. Uh, Come here. Oh. No. Come on. No one's out there. Look, I'll even check this window over here. Jeez. Nope. I definitely wasn't imagining this though, Bobby. There was someone at this window. He was right here. Nick, you're just tired. It's it's playing tricks on you. Come on. Let's just keep looking around. I guess. Ooh, an apple. I was hungry. Oh, I found some coffee beans. I'll bring these back for Major Gray. He definitely liked those. Yeah, I miss coffee. Well, I'm sure he'd let you have some. Uh, do you have everything you need, Bobby? I mean... Yeah, I got some more peaches for your buddy Ghetto. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Check these chests one more time. Wait, Bobby, I just saw someone. Come here, quick. <sighs> Nick, I have told you over and over again, there is no one outside. Listen, it's just your mind playing tricks on you. Seriously. Bobby, I'm telling you, I, I saw him right there. Hey, you I'm in there. Okay, maybe you're right. There is someone outside. We have you surrounded and we're armed. So come out peacefully and surrender and there'll be no problems. Jeez, Bobby, what did oh, we get into? Gosh. I thought you said these people knew you. Well, they do. I send people over here all the time when I find them, and I and I trade with these people. Come on, it shouldn't be that bad. I don't know. Well, all listen, right. we we should probably should just go outside, surrender. They won't harm us. They'll be fine. I want your arms up and your weapons down. All right, let's just let's just do what they say. I don't want to get in a firefight. You've only got a bow. Plus, I I think I know this person. They'll be fine. I trade with her all the time. Let's go. Uh, I'm trusting you to get me this far, Bobby. Good. Hello. Bobby! Oh. Hey! How you doing? What are you doing here? Well, uh, we were just looking for, uh, this boy's Nick here, his, uh, his friend Jimmy. No, the doctor no, of some sort. The scientist, not Jim. Well, it's a long story, and look, we didn't really mean to, to impose on you guys. We thought, well, we thought everything here was abandoned. We didn't think anyone was here. Looked to me like you were stealing. Can you explain that? No, 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 we weren't, we weren't stealing at all. We were just... Looking through, trying to find you guys, and uh, well, since we saw no one in the town square or in the uh, storage area, look, I don't appreciate you snooping through our stuff. After all our trades and everything, Bobby, why would you try to steal from us? We're, we're not trying to steal from you. I promise. We're just trying to find a. We were trying to find really just you, and then maybe you could tell us where a uh, doctor is. Right? Uh, yeah, it's the a doctor. long story, and I, I don't expect you to yeah. understand everything, but. Yeah, My group, him, we're, we're part of a group at the CDC, and the scientists there were very close to making a cure for the infection, for the, yeah, the waters. Yeah, cure, cure. But we need information that only Dr. Jin, a good friend of mine, only he has. 
Look, I don't know what you're talking about. The CDC, a cure? I've never heard about any of this. Well, no, no, it's from what I've heard, it's it's real. Or at least they're working on it. Not done yet. It's we still have work to do, but it is real. I promise. It's the reason we came all this way. I mean, we wouldn't have came all this way just to steal from you. Honest. Exactly. In this Look. town, we would have heard about a cure by now, and I haven't gotten any word of anything like that yet. Well, uh, maybe it just hasn't reached you yet. Of course, they're still working on it, so it's not like it's finished. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I don't know how to prove it to you guys. Um, I just, uh, I just gotta ask that you'll believe me. And have you have you seen if have you seen the him. boy I sent you? I sent him here a few weeks ago. He was a short sort of uh, Dr. wearing Jim. a weird yellow shirt. Yeah, and I'm not Dr. gonna stand Jimmy. here and listen to your stories anymore. All of these are lies. Up against the wall. But it's not lies, I'm telling you. I'm not listening anymore. Bobby. Oh, Nick. What did you get us into? What did I get us into? You're the one who wanted to go in the store. Man. John, you got the cuffs? Bobby, well, they cuff us. I don't know what they're gonna do to us, but. It'll be fine, Nick. Just stay calm. Hands we'll behind get out your of back. Here somewhere. It's alright, Shelby. I know these people. They won't hurt us. It's all right, Shelby. I know these people. Dr. Jin? They won't hurt us. Nick, it's good to see you again. Bobby, too. Hey, it's Jimmy. Dr. Jin, what what are you doing out here? This isn't safe. You should go back inside. No, it's okay, Shelby. I know these people. You can trust them. I thought you said you didn't have any doctors here. Jin, where Look, are I'm you just at? trying to keep him safe. Oh, it's been crazy, Nick. Uh, ever since the prison raid, uh... Look, there's a lot to talk about, and I, I, we should probably talk about this some other time. Well, I'm just glad that you're alive, to be honest. I didn't have much hope after Red's men took over Husky's prison. I, I thought for sure either. Well, uh -huh. I won't get into what I thought, because it doesn't matter. You're here, and you're safe. And that's good, because, well, we've been looking for you. That's great, Nick. I've been hoping to hear from you as well. Uh, shall we put that weapon away? We don't need that around. Th these are our guests. I'm sorry, but we don't know anything about these guys. I don't know if we can trust them. It's not really that safe. Hey! I understand your concern, Shelby, but I know Nick, and I know Bobby, and I know I wouldn't be alive if it weren't for them. So, please, trust me on this. They're good people. Only if you're sure about it. Dr. Jin, I don't mean to impose, but... Is there somewhere we can talk, and maybe in private? There's a lot that's happened since you've left, and, well, there's some very important things that you need to know. You're right. We have a lot of catching up to you. Here, uh, follow me to my lab. Okay. Come on, Bobby. See? I told you we weren't stealing nothing. You know, I have to admit, I am a bit surprised, in the best way possible, that you're still alive. Well, Jin, I, to be honest, I could say the same about you, and... After Red's men took over the, the prison, I just assumed you were either captured or or you were already dead. What happened? How did you escape? Well, you see, the prison actually has a system of maintenance tunnels that runs around the entire interior. And the entire layout of the prison is all connected into one giant network. And I was able to get in there, and the tunnels also lead to the outside. Thankfully, they didn't search the tunnels, so I don't think they know about them. You know, we used those same tunnels to escape, but it, did, it took us a while. We had to wait for AK to rescue us, and, well, I guess we must have just missed you, but we searched everywhere, and we just couldn't find you. And we just, I guess. Well, when Red captured everyone, I thought he basically put everyone to... Well, I don't want to talk about the things he did, but I just made assumptions about the situation of everyone there, and... I I told myself that I was going to go ahead and make a cure so that things like that would never happen again to avenge you guys in this sort of way. Well, I guess that makes sense. And how did you come across this group? Why, why here and why this building? I mean, it seems awfully fortified. It doesn't really have much in it, though. Oh, um, let me show you my lab back here. Oh, wow. It's not wow. much. I put together what I could with the equipment that I was able to find, but most what of this, this equipment is inadequate for proper research. What is this thingy? Can't touch it. No. Oh, uh, don't touch that, please. That distills different solutions. Oh. Well, that sounds like all science and stuff. I don't understand the word you're saying. This is incredible. So you've been working on Formula X this whole time? 
Yes, but unfortunately, this equipment really isn't enough to make a proper cure. I haven't been making much progress. A lot of this is either outdated or barely even functioning. I'm not sure I can make much headway with what I have here. I guess that explains why Shelby was so reluctant to tell us about the doctor. It seems like with the work you're doing here, it'd be best to keep a low profile. You're right, and really, I'm not sure what I could even make out of this. They're putting a lot of hopes on me, and I hate letting them down, but it's really, there's not a lot I can do here with this equipment. It's very rudimentary. Uh, you two must be hungry, right? You guys have been traveling for a while. I got yeah, some little food bit. here, so if you guys want some, I can be more than happy to hand you a little bit. Sure. Take some cereal? There's also more in the next room if you guys would ever need some. I have plenty of supplies in here. They made hey, sure to stock me with whatever I needed. Well, it seems like you've got a pretty good thing going here, but like I said, Dr. Jin, there's there's a lot that you don't know, and well, let's just say you're needed back with our group. We we really do need your help. Well, I am forced to ask, what happened with you guys? How did you find me? Oh, well, well, it's a long story, actually. Uh, started off with just hearing from Bobby that he had seen you a couple days ago. Up until then, we realized, or we just assumed that you were dead. So from there, we tracked you down in this camp, and, well, that's pretty much where we're at now. But I guess I should go back a little bit further and, and fill you in from the prison. And that's it, really. Like I said, you're the only scientist I know who's ever been able to make heads or tails of Ross's formula, and right now it looks like it might be our best bet at making some sort of cure. Hmm, the CDC, huh? It's been a while. It's certainly a thought to consider. Well, I don't know what else to tell you, but without you, I don't know if we're going to make much progress. The scientists there... They're shorthanded as it is, and even they've told me that they just don't understand the way the compound behaves, and you do. I know it's a lot to You're ask, right. leaving the group here and all, but we really need your help, Doctor. You're right. I should probably go back to the CDC. There's more equipment and headway to be made there anyways. I, it is very limited with what I can do here. What about your group here? Are you sure they'll be okay with that decision? Well... They think I'm working on antibiotics or something of that nature, so I don't think they would have too much grief with it. And honestly, if I stayed here, I don't really think I could make much progress anyways. I taught them what I know about first day, so they should be fine on their own. I'll talk with whoever I can about me departing, getting some extra supplies. For the most part, I should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up my lab, get some equipment together, what I can use, and some supplies. Why don't you guys head over to Shelby's camp for the night? Okay. That'd be great, and thank you again, Dr. Jin. It, it's just such a relief knowing that you're going to be coming back with us. To be honest, you not need, too, Nick. not need any help with anything around here? No, I should be okay. Uh, you guys okay. worry about resting up first. Besides, okay. Bobby, this is all very delicate equipment. If I know anything <laughs> about you, Jin, you never did like people poking around with your stuff. Well, it is all very expensive. All right. Especially after the world ended, so I'm gonna get busy. You guys get some rest. All right, come on, Bobby. Shelby, are you sure it's a good idea to leave the doctor alone with those people? Last I heard, they were trying to rob us. It's fine, Jack. I have it under control. Go back to your post. I'm just saying, shouldn't at least one of us be in there with them? For protection, of course. Jack is right, Shelby. Somebody should be there with the doctor at all times. We don't know these people what they want. Look, Dr. Jin told me that one of them is from his old group. He told me to stay outside while they talked, and I'm not about to start second-guessing the man who's done so much for us. If Dr. Jin says that they can be trusted, then that's the end of it. Now go back to your post. Just because we have visitors doesn't mean we don't have jobs to do. Whatever. Just don't say I didn't warn you when something happens to him. I won't let anything happen to him. Ooh. You boys ready to go? Oh, Dr. Jin. Uh, yeah, I think I'm all packed up. I didn't really leave anything here, and... 
Besides, we want to give back most of that stuff that we borrowed with Bobby. Yeah. Well, they don't need it. Are you ready to go, Jimmy? Uh, yeah. I packed up most of my beakers, most of my equipment, weapons, ammo. I think we're good that to go. That sounds like stuff I don't need to hear about. Well, well if Bobby, you guys are ready to head out. Do you remember the way to the highway? I mean, it's pretty dark. Of course I do, Nick. How do you think I am? That's true. That's true. I gotta learn to stop doubting you. You do know these woods very well. Well, exactly. I guess it's time to go then. Let's uh, let's head off. If we get lucky, we should be able to make it by morning. Yeah, probably. Let's go. Jin, Nick, wait up. Oh, oh, Shelby. Shelby. I'm glad I caught you before you left. Uh, where is it exactly that you all are going? Well, uh, we're going to the CDC. It's like I told you. It might sound hard to believe, but there are people there who think that they can work on a cure, and, well, Dr. Jin's going to be a big help in that, so we need to get yeah, him I can't back wait to, to get the back CDC. There. Well, I hadn't heard of that before, but it does sound like the best option. But listen, on your way there, there's a lot of groups out there, and they're not particularly trusting of people. But I know a lot of them, and they trust me, and I could, if you let me come with you, I could keep you guys safe. Well, boy. Jeez, I don't know about that. Shelby, don't you have people here that you need to take care of? I mean, what about your group? They don't really need me. I was only passing through. I've been around a lot, and these guys already had a pretty safe holdup before I got here. I don't know. More guns. It kind of attracts more attention, but... You're right. It would be hard to move with more people, but we'd also get more security and protection from it. Also, if she has connections... That means we might be able to get through some areas without too much trouble. It's good to exploit whatever connections we can use. You never nope. know what you'll run into out there, and I know a lot of what's out there. And I'm pretty handy with my sword. You know, I agree with uh, these two. I well, say we take her. Shelby, uh, I guess you're part of the group now, and besides, we could definitely use the extra help at the CDC, being a man short and all. I mean, that's the whole reason we came to find you, Bobby. You know... So, you know what? You know when you uh need a man, might as well find a woman. She'll help us out more. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yep. Besides, as long as you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, and I'm sure with that sword, you've probably taken out quite a few walkers. It could be useful around the CDC. I'll warn I'm you. I'm always though, ready to get my hands dirty. There's a lot more walkers like in the city. It's it's well, it's not like something I've seen out here. I won't let you guys down. I'll be sure to be an asset to the team. All right. Well, well yeah. If we're done dilly dallying, if we're done dilly dallying, let's go. Okay. You're right. We're wasting moonlight. Let's go. Hey, we made it to the highway, Nick. I told you I knew where I was going. All right, Bobby. All right. Me. I'll admit it. You definitely know your way around these woods. Hmm? Well, That's right. You don't forget it. This is definitely the area where we have to wait for Major Gray. Uh, doesn't I don't look like see it's... any helicopters. Well, I told him we'd meet up with him on the second day, so I'm not surprised he's not here yet. It's pretty early. He should be here soon, though, and he'll land it right around here, so this is pretty much the area we have to wait. Just hold on and wait for Major Gray, I guess. You know, if we have access to a helicopter, it might be a good idea to revisit the White House. Really? Why is that? Wait, the White House? Uh, there's some notes on a project that I could be using. Um... I was worried they would get destroyed in the blast, so before the bomb went off, I actually moved them to a different part. Well, wait, wait, wait. The White House? You went to the White House, Nick? Oh, Bobby, we've been a lot of places, and like I said, there's a lot that you don't know, but yes, we were at the White House for a little bit. Unfortunately, there's not really much left of it. Even, bef even less than when we originally got there after Ross's bomb, but Dr. Jin, I think that's a good idea. Those notes, if they can help at all with Formula X, we should definitely make the trip. I'll make sure to there remind There are also Gray. some things we can grab, because the lab has a blast shielding around the room, so it should be safe from the bomb. Whatever, that's science words. I don't need to hear that. Have you checked these trucks, Nick? Uh, I think I checked most of them, but I don't know. We might have left something. This is where the raiders came and cornered us, so we kind of got interrupted. <laughs> got it. So okay. You guys really have a working helicopter? Where in the world did you get one of those? Well, we've had a few, actually. This one was from Major Gray in the CDC, but me and my group, we have a pilot as well, AK, and he knew of some from military bases, and 
areas around the city from before the infection. So, overall, after I, everything that's happened, I would have never thought something like that could survive and still fly. Well, it helps yeah, that well. we have pilots who know what they're doing. But yeah, I guess it is kind of a miracle. You know, I oh, used look. to be a pilot once. Well, I'm not quite sure I want to give you a test fight, Bobby. I mean, we don't have too many helicopters, and last thing we need is, <laughs> well, you yeah, be a little yeah. bit rusty. Whatever. It's right. no good. It looks like they cleared everything out here. Okay, well, let's just set up a perimeter, and we'll wait for Major Gray. He shouldn't be too long. It's almost sunrise. You didn't tell me the doctor was a woman. That's Shelby. She wanted to join us at the CDC. Dr. Jin says we can trust her. Oh, okay. This must be Dr. Jin. Welcome aboard. I'm Major Gray. Pleasure to meet you, Major. Gray, we need to make a pit stop at the White House before heading back to the CDC. Dr. Jin needs some notes from his lab. It should be quick, but they're very important to my work with Formula X. Not a problem. I filled up the chopper tank before I left the CDC. Strap in and we'll take off. Bobby and I will stay here with the helicopter. Can you get the doctor where he needs to go by yourself? I think I can manage. Besides, Dr. Jen is a pretty decent shot himself. Be careful out there, Nick. Looks like oh, the White House could use a few repairs. That's probably damage from the explosion Ross planted. If I'm right, my notes should still be preserved in my lab. Alright, come on. Let's go. All right, come on down. Everything looks clear. Here, Dr. Jin, why don't you take my axe? I've got my rifle I can use. Oh, no need, Nick. Ever since you handed me that rifle, I've actually been pretty accustomed to holding my own, as they say. I know they said do no harm, but uh, in situations like this, I don't think it hurts to watch out for yourself. Oh, well, I guess it's, you know, that's a good thing. We could use another sharpshooter in our on our group, but... Just watch your back, all right? I've got I've got my rifle here, but you know, who knows what's inside this White House? We don't know what we're walking into. I'm also worried about the supports of this building. Ever since the bomb went off, the entire infrastructure was damaged. Well, we'll just have to stick to places that look pretty secure and stay away from the areas that don't. But here, let's come on. The, the lab's in the first floor, right? Right. We got to go down the stairs, and it should be right past the. Ugh, just rubble blocking the way. It must have gotten collapsed during the explosion. Uh, I, I don't even think I can move this, Doctor. This is this is an awful lot, and it's wedged yeah, up against the ceiling. It, it looks like the staircase is completely destroyed as well. We're gonna have to find another way around. All right. Well, come on. These hallways lead around. We should be able to find. Walkers. Them. Oh, jeez. All right. Whew. I think oh. that's all of them. Man. Dr. Jin, I'm impressed. You weren't lying. You're a pretty good shot. Well, I have been practicing. You didn't give this to me for nothing. Come on, we gotta keep moving. This building could give at any moment. You're right. Let's keep moving. It looks like we can head down through here. Oh, good. The staircase isn't blocked. Oh, oh hold more on. walkers. Here, I'll take the one on the right. Good shot, Doctor. All right. There's so many of them these days. I think when the bomb went off, it must have blown some holes in the outer walls and all the zombies just came flooding in. Well, that plus the noise must have attracted them. Here, looks like there's some sort of doorway over here. I'm gonna check this, just watch my back. I don't know if there's any more of them. All right. Oh, okay. Looks like we're just in a storage room. Uh, some water. Do you need any food, Dr. Jin? Uh, no, I'm okay. I have enough. Okay, well, looks like let's see, a little bit of food, some water in here. Let's see, huh, bunny ears. Shark will like those. All right, well, there's nothing much of use in there. A couple of canteens, some food. I think we should probably keep going. We need to get down to your Good lab, idea. right? Right, it should be over towards this way. Watch your step. The bomb looks like it blew some holes in both the outer wall and the... Oh, no, speaking of... This is a dead end. I don't 
I don't think there was any other way out. So how are we going to get down? We're going to have to go back up and try and move that staircase debris, I, I guess. We're right above where we need to be. If there's a way down through here, we... Be careful, Dr. Jin. You don't know how stable this rubble is. Hang on. There's a ladder here. It looks like it leads down to the floor beneath us. All right. Hold on. I'm coming down. Just watch your step. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and go first. I, we need to get down there. All right. Well, jeez. Guess this ladder. Looks good. It should hold. Come on down. Ooh. Okay. Let's not do that again. Oh no. More walkers. Goodness, there's so many of them. All right. I think we're clear. Come on. Those shots definitely attracted more. So, let's keep moving. You're right. We less than one kid is cornered while we're in here. Man. The lab, huh? It's been a while since I've been down here. We might have lucked out. I was kind of expecting... Oh. I was going to say I was expecting there to be more debris, but look at this place. It's absolutely wrecked. I guess the blast shielding didn't help when the blast is from the inside of the building. I'm going to see what I can scavenge. I'm going to look around. Maybe some equipment survived the blast. Maybe, but... Dr. Jin, I mean, this is an awful lot of rubble. Are you sure? Um, something useful must have survived through here. Um, I'll keep looking around. Maybe I'll find something of use. Okay, well, you know, I think I'm going to do the same thing. Just watch your back, all right? I'll be up on the first floor, but I won't be able to watch the doorway. So keep an eye open and don't get cornered by any walkers, all right? Right. I'll make sure to meet up with you once I'm done here. Okay, sounds good, Doctor. Okay. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Whew. Man, things haven't changed much around here. I would have thought the bomb did more damage, but it seems like this part of the building is still intact. Oh no. Sounds like there could be another one. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, jeez. How did he get in here? This is my old room. Alright. Uh, I'm going to open this on three and just... Oh, there we go. Alright, let's get, let's just check out in here before, before any of those other walkers down the hall hear me. Man, it's been a while since I've been here. I wonder... I wonder if my stash is still up here. Oh, let me check. Oh my god, it is. Look at all these peaches. I think I'm gonna bring some back for Ghetto. You know, that that's what I should do. I'll just bring them back and... I won't tell them where I got them, though. That's for sure. Oh. This flower? I don't know why there's a flower in here. You know what? I'm gonna take this outside. I'm gonna take this outside and I'll go put it down by the graves. That's a good idea. Let's see. Got nice yellow flower. Let's go put this down by Sky and Barney. Oh jeez. Well, it's a good thing these fences got put up and they're still stable. Looks like there's a lot of walkers outside. It doesn't matter. Let me just go put these flowers down and then meet up with Dr. Jin and... Wait. What? Nick! Oh, Dr. Nick, Jin. there you are! I'm coming down! Okay. I don't understand. Why would someone dig up the graves? It just... Some people... I grabbed what I could from the lab, but it really didn't look like there was much left from the blast. Well, that's alright. I was just coming to drop some flowers off at these graves, and look, but, someone what? Someone dug up looters, I guess, or maybe cannibals? I, I don't even know. Why would someone dig up these graves? They were... Oh, uh, looters, huh? If it was looters, there wouldn't... Either the zombies would be killed, or they wouldn't have come to a place that was so infested. I know the looters... We gotta get to the CDC. Right now. What? Uh, okay, well... I, I guess that's that's fine. Uh, just can't believe this. Who would have done something like this, Dr. Jim? Let's just get to the CDC, Nick. We can answer these questions later. Okay. It's kind of weird. Well, let's go, I guess.
I'm glad you guys made it back in one piece. Thanks, Shark. How are things in the CDC? Can't complain. A few walkers, but nothing major. We actually made some improvements to the defenses. Follow me. I'll show you around. Yeah, I think you'll like the uh, the new defenses that Ghetto and I did. We spent a lot of time on it, and it's really going to fortify this place. I can see you guys put a lot of sandbags down, and it looks like there's some new walls, and... Whoa, is that a sniper perch? Exactly. There's even a sniper in there. I think you'll like it. Where did you guys find the time to build one of these? Uh, we got a little bored. But hey, we got it done, and I mean, look at it. It's great. Nothing's going to get past this. Oh, Shark, I'm impressed. This is really great work, and it looks sturdy. Let's take a look at the view up here. Oh, wow. This is this is definitely going to help keep those walkers off the fence. And look, you reinforce the fence with some sandbags. Man. Exactly. Yeah, take a look in the chest there. There's a sniper if you want to, I mean, see it. Uh, okay. I'll grab a water, too, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, no problem. Oh, here. An M107. All right. Let's take a peek. Let's see. What can I try and shoot? Maybe on top of that roof? Oh, wow. Man, Shark, you can see everything from here. Like, this is a great sniper perch. Yeah, it's crazy. Man, I, I can't wait for we have a couple someone up of, here. I can't wait for some walkers to just walk by. I'll, I'll volunteer for the first shift up here. This is, this is nuts. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing. So, hey, uh, that, that Bobby guy, is he trustworthy and... Yeah, what's he like? Well, Bobby? I yeah. can't say for sure. I mean, I've only known him for so long, but to be honest, he was one of the only reasons that we made it to Atlanta to begin with. We, well, we kind of got lost in the woods, and he helped us find our way back to the highway, so I think he's trustworthy. I'm, well, I guess we'll just have to hope, but... I think he's I think he's fine. And so is Shelby for the most part. I haven't known her for nearly as long, but she seems like she has her head in the right place. Okay. Yeah, no, as long as they don't betray us or anything, then hey, they're welcome. I just don't want any any, any bad things happening. Well, we'll have to be on our toes, but I think we'll be fine. And besides, we've got Dr. Jin back now. Things might be looking up. We might actually make some progress on Formula X. Oh yeah, that that's right. That's awesome. It's good that Jin's back. Huh. Speaking of Jin, I should probably go check on him and make sure he's settling in okay. Uh, can you hold down the fort out here and I'll send someone to relieve you in a bit? Yeah, sounds good. I'll stay up here. Alright, thanks Shark. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so when you come down here, in this section... Oh, Ghetto, what? Bobby. Oh, hi, oh, Nick. What's going on, Nick? Oh, nothing much. What are you doing? Just giving Bobby the tour? Yeah, I'm just about to go show him the medical center. You, you know, we keep all the medicine and stuff. Yeah, this place is huge. Yeah, it really is. I still get lost sometimes up on the second floor. I think there's still rooms I haven't been in. You know, with my memory, I'm probably going to get lost all the time. But we'll get used to it. Oh, Ghetto, that reminds me. I actually got you something. I was back at the White House and... Well, I, I went through my old room and found my old stash, so... No way! Ugh. Oh, we gotta Places. find a kid. Yeah. Yuck. Man, yeah. these are great. Here, try well, one. Alright, no, no, no. You know, my wife used to like peaches, but that's why I had a bunch of them back at the campsite and brought them to you. I heard you liked them, so... As well. Wait, you... Oh, man. I, I, thank you so much. These are, yeah, you, don't you worry, you I got some no with me. Nick, do you have a can opener? Uh, you know what? I don't. You're gonna have to find one of those. Otherwise, I guess it's just the open cans for now. Well, and where's the kitchen? I bet you get, they got some there. Yeah, exactly. You see, Bob's got the right idea. Okay, well, if you guys are gonna go do that, well, I've gotta go talk to Dr. Jin. Do you have any idea where he is? Uh, he should be in the lab working on some stuff, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Go, well, check, go check up on him. All right, well, I know, I never, I why, don't you, why don't you finish giving Bobby the tour? Ooh, you know what? Make sure you show him the sniper tower the shark made out front. It's really crazy. Oh, good idea, good idea. That's my favorite spot, eh? You know, we, we, we got to show you that. After we finish here, what? we'll go there. The okay. sniper tower. All right. Sounds great. I'll see you guys later. All right, see you later. Bye, Nick. All right, so over here, here's the medical center. We keep all the medicine.
Well, I've been looking at the compounds, but I can't seem to neutralize any of the isolated components. Well, oh. let me try Formula B. Hmm, I haven't thought about that. Oh, Nick, you're here. Yeah. Ah. Excuse oh. me, yeah. guys. Sorry, I, I just wanted to check up on Dr. Jin, and, well, I see you've already met the professor here. Oh, yes, uh, me and Professor X go way back. Really? Yes. I didn't oh, realize that. Yes, we used, we used to work at the CDC together. Right, we actually spent years developing several research articles, and we actually wrote a thesis together. Hmm. Well, I, I guess this is kind of like a reunion for you, then. Exactly. Well, yeah. yeah, I suppose, a half reunion. There is half. one missing. Ross used to work here as well with us. Oh, well. It's unfortunate. I'm sure he was a great scientist, you know, despite his intentions. Well, he dabbled in this and that, but it was sort of like a family here before I was called into the White House to work at their lab, but truthfully, most of my research was done here. Well, I just came by to grab you guys, you know, a quick snack and some water if you need it. Figured you guys were oh, working no, hard. No, no, we can't have this in the lab, so we get it out of here. Uh, oh. Yeah, it might be contaminating some- if it's not purified and it's not sterilized, we can't have it in here. Otherwise, it might contaminate some of our components. Oh, I exactly. understand. Well, I'll leave it out in the kitchen for you then. Thank well, you. we appreciate that. Other than that, <sighs> how's everything going on the formula? Have you made any progress? Uh, mm, sort of. It's kind rather of. slow. It's a little difficult, especially since we're shorthanded. There's only so much the two of us can do. And it's not quite like the trio that we used to have. Well, you know, I don't know much about that, but I don't know how it'd feel with him being here. You know, he was going a bit uh, crazy last time I saw him. He was no, obsessed no, with no, the no. It, it was it was a size it was a side project. There's no, no, no proof or conclusive evidence that anything like that would even be even remotely possible. Reanimation? Re yes. It, it's nothing. It's just a small side project that he was working on. We really should get back to work on the formula, Professor. Well, I'll leave you guys right. to it. But if you need anything, just let me know. I'll be... well... Nick, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Major Gray? Sorry. I was talking with the Professor and Dr. Jin. What's up? There's been a development. I... I think you should see it for yourself. Follow me, Nick. Okay, but Major Gray, I mean, couldn't this have waited? Not really. Listen, some things, interesting things have been happening. Just to let you know, the CDC scans most local frequencies for any incoming radio chatter. Today we had... Well, we had an interesting anomaly. I see, so... Any local radio frequencies will be picked up by the CDC's receivers? Exactly. Today we received a transmission. Except the sunrise, actually. We don't know how long it's been broadcasted, but... Got one. I want to hear it. Okay, yeah, I guess this is important. Wow, is this This room... is the radio room. This is just for monitoring communications? Exactly. Now, if you can follow me over here, I'll play it for you. Okay. Here we go. Hello? Is anyone out there hearing this? I'm out of food, and I don't have any weapons. Please, if anyone is out there, help me. Oh my gosh. Major Gray, are, so you're telling me that someone in, within, what, a small radius of the CDC must have broadcast Run five this miles. message? Around five miles, actually. It's very local. We don't pick up, you know, transmissions all over the world or anything, but I don't know. I feel like this might be important enough. Well... I, I agree. I mean, if they're that close to the CDC, we have to help them. There's there's nothing else to do. We have to get there and, and well, figure out if they need help or if they've got Sitting supplies. Sitting by the message, by the message, I think they do need help, Nick. Well, I know, but by the time we get there, it might be too late. You know what? Exactly. We should leave right away. This is too important. Okay, I'll try to triangulate the signal. I'll see you down at the base gate. Okay. I'll grab us some ammunition and supplies. This might just be the two of us, since it's not too far. We should be able to make it on foot. Understandable. I'll see you outside. Okay. Uh, oh, the armory. Perfect. Let's see. Drum mag. Take a couple oh. of these. Hey, Nick. Oh, Shelby. Oh. What, what are, are you doing in here? <laughs> I was going to ask you the same thing. Uh, well, 
I'm just trying to get some ammunition. Me and Major Gray are going out on a scouting mission. Oh, what kind of mission is it? Well, it's tough to say, really. We don't really know what we're getting into, but... Major Gray picked up some sort of radio broadcast on the CDC radio system. It sounded like the whoever was sending it needed some help, so we're going to go out and see if we can figure out what's going on. Well, hey, if you need an extra hand, I wouldn't mind helping you guys out. Well, you know, now that you mention it, three people would be good. We could watch each other's backs and corners, so... You know what? Yeah, Shelby, if you want to come with us, that'd be great. Let's see. What kind of gun can we get you? Maybe a sporter? I'm... Well, you know, I got the only weapon I normally need. Well, katana, huh? Man, I wish I was as good at melee as you are. But even still, we should definitely get you some sort of weapon. It's better to be prepared when you're out in the city. I mean, take it from me. I've only seen a couple of hordes, but you're going to want something with a little bit more firepower. Uh... Yeah, I guess better safe than sorry. I haven't been in the city. Let's see. Oh, how about this? We'll give you a P90. This is a pretty good weapon here. Just be careful where you point it. Yeah. It's been a while since I used a gun. Well, you should be able to use it pretty easily. You just finger on the trigger and point at whatever you want to kill. So, other than that, let's see. I'll grab a bandage. We shouldn't need too much. Major Gray said it shouldn't be too far away. Hmm. Water bottle. Here, you take a water bottle too. Do you That's have all the food idea. or... Canteen. Yep, I think I'm pretty set on all the stuff I would need. All right, well, I told Major Gray we'd meet him at the front gate of the CDC. Come on. Oh, look. Major Gray. Oh, hey. What? Oh, hey, wait. Where's your gun? Uh, oh. I'm fine. Don't worry oh, about I'm... it, Major. We already discussed this, and she's good with her katana. Besides, I've yeah. got weapons for everyone if we need them. I've never Very been cute. one much for guns anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I've traced the signal, uh, radio signal, actually three miles east of here, just into the city. We okay, three miles. Out? We should be able to do that in about a day, so huh. I guess we In should... a day? It shouldn't be that long, but... Well, it depends on what we come across on the way. We might not be able to go in a perfectly straight line. We might have obstacles, or we could run into a horde, for all we know. Most likely. Hordes will be out in the streets, probably. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Well... You guys ready to go? Uh, I think I've got everything I need. What about you? Yep, got my rifle. All right, let's go. Yep, go. Here, Shelby, I'll I'll take the back. You stick in the middle. All right, I'm ready. Open the gates. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen a city this big. Usually, I'll try to avoid it with all the hordes and whatnot. Yeah, well. I feel the same way, honestly. When I was in D.C., I thought I knew what a zombie horde was, but being in Atlanta just really opened my eyes. There's a lot of walkers here. Listen, back, back in my military days, well, we had to clear out tons and tons of cities like these, well, at least attempt to. I don't know if we were ever successful, to be honest, but... Well... And I missed it before the apocalypse. I think we all do, but... Look, yeah. look at the bright side. I mean, it's a beautiful day, and so far, it's been a pretty easy path. I mean, we must be at least halfway there by now. So far. The city's this size? Normally, there's hordes somewhere around. That's true. Well, keep heading on. Yeah, we should keep moving before we find one of them. Yeah. Oh, we got some to our uh, left. Oh, no. And, our and on our right. right. Guess I'll have to use my gun after all. All right. Here, cover me, Shelby. I'm reloading. Clear on the left side. Cup to our right. Oh, man, this horde's huge. Here, Shelby. Like this. Behind you. Thanks. Oh, more ammo. Smart. Gray, can you, you take a few of those out? Close. Oh, perfect. I see one more, but I think he might be out of range. Oh, got oh, him. You got him. Nice. Okay. Shots. Is everything clear? Oh, geez. For someone who doesn't like using guns. Oh, you good, Nick? Yeah, I just saw another one and wanted to take him out before he came any closer. But yeah, Shelby. Jeez, for someone who doesn't like using guns, a good yeah. shot. Very impressive. I guess I'm not as rusty as I thought I'd be. Well, we should probably stay moving. I, I don't think those were the last of them, and if I know walkers, they'll be traveling in hordes, and they probably heard those gunshots. 
Yeah, we've been pretty lucky so far. All right, well, let's keep, keep going. Is this the right direction, Major Gray? You said east, right? Yeah, we got an obstruction ahead. Oh yeah, looks like looks like a semi truck actually. We must have crashed here. here check a the while left ago. side, Nick. See if we can get through that way. Um, no can do, Major. Look, it's pressed fully up against the side of this building. We'd have to go either underneath it, but I don't think I can fit through here. there. Here, Shelby, you think you can squeeze through here? Hmm. No, nah, that's a bit of a tight fit. Yeah, besides, with all our guns here. and loot, there's no way we'll be able to get through there. Hang on, let me try and pry the door open. Should be. Huh? Huh? Here, somebody. Here. Uh, I think we can. I think this box is a little bit loose. We can try moving this. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Guys, I think we should Not just forget budging. it. Not budging. We're pretty. We're pretty we're exposed this. here. Oh. Yeah, we don't want to get caught off guard out here. Look, no, we can this just. This thing isn't moving at all. Let's check one of the alleyways. I'm sure there's a way around here. I mean, we can't get through the the corner here with the semi, but maybe around this building or one of these fence. Oh. Fence. Oh. Here, fenced here. In. Let me see if I can push you up. <sighs> nope. Bit too high. Oh, guys, yeah. watch out! Oh, behind you! Oh no! Okay. Oh, that was close. Jeez. Guys, I don't think we Another can risk one. going back over there. That intersection seems like it's crawling with walkers. Now we're going to have to find another uh, way out of here. how are we going to get around? Uh, we have to go that way. That's where the single's coming from. You know what? Let's go through this building right here. I'm sure the doors are open, and worst case, we can break the glass. Is that the safest way through? Well, it's better than going back to that intersection. I can see another walker right there. Yeah, it's worth a shot. All right, come on. Follow me. Yes. Come on. Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, yeah, I'll say. Good for us we found this building open. Well, good for us for now, but who knows how quickly that horde is moving. I think we should get away from that intersection really quick. For all we know, yeah. someone might have put that truck there for a reason. Yeah, we'll have to find another way through. Oh! What's wrong, Major? Don't look past that door. Oh, jeez. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna take a spot behind this okay on three open the door and stay clear all right okay three one two one go oh he moved heads up all right i think one's still alive i'm outside too oh man you okay. guys check for a way out out back and i'll keep an eye on the front all right sounds good shelby looks like we're clear here this room's clear too any luck, Doors. Major? Oh, jeez, oh, no. watch out! Oh. oh, no. Looks like that's why this door was barricaded. We're gonna have to find another way around. We can keep switching around the building. Alright. Hey, Nothing over guys, here. come back out front here. There's this building out the window that I can see, and it looks like it has a radio tower on. Radio tower? What I don't know say? for sure, but that's what it looks like. Which right building? Right out here. Right huh. past the truck. Oh, what do you think, Major Gray? Could that be where the signal's coming from? Yes, I don't... I mean, it is in this direction. It's very close, so... Oh, wait, hey, I see some sandbags. That's true. All right, well, that is in the right direction, and... Well, it makes a lot of sense. You know what? Here, Major Gray, let's try and make our way out the back. Shelby, try and distract the walkers the best you can from here. All right, I'll do what I can. All right, but come on, Major We got some right here. How do you want to play this? Should we break the window? Yeah, it seems like the best option. All right, come here. I'm going to break this one right here. All right, can you take those out? Go. Break the next one. Here, let's go. All right, watch my back. I think we're clear. Maybe a couple more around the corner. Good. Shelby! Yeah? Come on. All right. It's Come all clear out. out back? Yeah, everything's Looks clear. like it. Oh, hang on, we got a walker right here. Oh, jeez. Man, these streets are just completely empty. No supplies, no cars. Makes you wonder what the happened when the... Ominous. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Let's keep going. Let's get to that uh, the radio tower you showed us. Alright, come on. Looked like 
Major Gray was but, right. There it looked like there was some sort of, I don't know, sandbags. Definitely someone was staying there. Here, Major, why don't you give me a hand moving these sandbags, and we'll take a look inside. And I'll watch you guys' okay. back while you do that. Sounds good, Shelby. Okay. Three, 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 two, one. <laughs> That was the last one. Okay, well, I think it's open now. Jeez. We're all clear out here, so we're safe to go in. There's no walkers. Back. Come on, here. I'll lead the way. Hello? Uh, hello? Uh, Is someone out there? Yeah, who's in there? Show yourself. Look, look, don't come in. Just, if you have weapons, put them down. No, we're not going to put our weapons. What is this guy? I don't want to have to hurt you. Just, just put them down, okay? There's three of us outside, just, we're not gonna hurt Yeah, well, you. how do you know I don't have an army in here? Just put him down! What do you think, Major Gray? What should we do? Uh, Get on the whoa. ground! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, look! 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 I don't know who you guys are! Stick. I sent a distress signal out! I just, just please, don't Wait, hurt me! Major, this must have been the radio signal we heard. Wait, you guys are here to save me? Well, that depends. What's your name? The name's Saber. Well, Saber, we got your radio signal, but I don't understand. Why are you locked in this building, and, and why do you only have a stick, and... Jeez, what happened to you? It looks like you got here, all here, torn stand up. Stand still. Stand still. What? What? Ah! Ow! Raiders came. They... They took my wife. I... I didn't have any choice but to board up the building, and... And just fend for myself. They, they took her! Your wife? Well, I don't know what to do. Geez. Wait. How long ago was this? Was it recently? The last week or so? It wasn't too long ago. Yeah, about then, yeah. I've just... I've just been hiding in here. I haven't really been keeping track of days. Hmm. Look, you guys gotta help me. The Raiders camp isn't too far from here. I need to get my wife back. Wait, wait. You know where the Raiders went? You know where they're staying? I think so. It's not too far from here. All right. How hurt are you? Can you handle a weapon? Uh, I, I think so. He's think patched up. He'll be fine. Here, you can have my axe for now. Just be careful where you swing it. Look, I appreciate it. And we'll help you get your wife back. Look, so, just be careful. Those raiders, they're not like the normal raiders. They, they looked hungry. Well, we'll figure it out. Look. We're gonna get your help you get your wife back. Why don't you just sit down and have something to eat? Shelby, do you have any extra food that we could give Saber? Yeah, I'll help you out. Thanks, what's your guys' name, by the way? Well, my name's Nick, and that's Major Gray. This is Shelby. We're part hey, of a larger Gray, group. Shelby. We just heard your distress signal and we wanted to investigate. Good to know there's still good people out there. Thanks, guys. Here, I've Nick's got some This position too. is unsafe. Here, take this too. It's not much. Oh. It's military food, but it's got the oh. nutrition. Oh. Here, Thank Nick. you. Yeah? I need to speak with you outside. Come on. Here, uh, Shelby, just... Can you give him some water or something like that? Yeah, I'll stay and here we'll... and keep an eye on him. Water would be great. Okay, just a second, guys. What's wrong, Major Gray? Listen, Nick. I don't put this I don't feel comfortable with us risking all of our lives to go save one person's wife I mean I understand this is wife but ill it's not our problem well I I don't know what to tell you major I think that this is our problem look we're very close to the CDC and like it or not there's some raider group that's taking prisoners I don't know about you but I have my hunches that this could be Red's group. Especially after what Saber said. You heard him in there. They took his wife right after we forced Red out of the CDC. Does that sound like a coincidence to you? I mean, it could be a coincidence. We, we can't confirm that this was Red's group. It just might be a, a bandit group or something. Even so, just a bandit group? 
so close to our base, so close to the CDC, the thing that we're working so hard for. Major, yes. I understand that the CDC would definitely be a safer place for Saber, but until we know if his wife is still alive, we can't just abandon her. Not when it could also possibly be the Raider group who took over the CDC and what they did to Ghetto, Jordan, everything Red's done to me. I'm sorry. I can't let this go. We have to help Saber. Even if it means risking our lives. <sighs> okay. Fine. Fine. Go. Okay, and look, I understand the CDC is our priority, but maybe we can just not tell Saber that. It'd be good for him to have a little bit of hope, even though, well, if it is Red's group, we both know there's probably not much hope left. Yes. Yeah, get them ready to go. All right, come on. Did you patch him up, Shelby? Yep, I gave him some water. I got him taken care of. All right, yeah, thanks Saber. for that, by the way. Well, do you know where this raider camp is? <sighs> yeah, it's not too far from here. Maybe a, a few hours walking? Well, I was talking to Major Gray, Shelby, and if you're up for it, I think we should help Saber. Look, you guys, you guys don't have to do this, okay? This is my problem, not yours. Well... That's not what we like to think around here, and besides, I'd like to think that you do the same thing for us. So, if yeah. you can lead us to the camp, we'll take you and we'll help you get your wife back. Okay, well, follow me. I'll lead the way. Wait, you're going to need a weapon. Do you still have that fire axe I gave you? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, we don't have any extra guns, but just stay behind us. We're pretty well equipped and we know how to handle ourselves. We'll keep you safe. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. It's going to be quite a walk, but we'll get there. Well, we've got enough food and supplies. We were expecting, well, I'm not sure what we were expecting. Definitely not what we saw. Ran into a Really, when we heard a radio, I heard a radio signal. I thought it was going to be a much larger group than just you, but... Look, nah, I'm going to give you guys a fair warning, though. I don't know how many raiders are at that camp, okay? All I know is that the camp is there. So Don't worry about careful. that. We know how to handle ourselves. We've been through worse. You sure? seem prepared for everything. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll Say that take now, your word Shelby. for it. Say that now, Shelby, but we don't know that yet. That's so, true. So, Saber, what exactly yeah. were you doing before all this? I mean, you got locked in that radio tower, but, I mean... Didn't look like you had many supplies, and no offense, it doesn't really seem like you've been out here that long. Yeah, no, I know. Well, before the before the outbreak and the, the virus, I was just a magazine salesman. I didn't really I didn't really do much. I just went door to door, lived in the inner city, didn't have any weapons, nothing. When the outbreak happened, I was lost. I I, I was confused and I, I kinda just hid with my wife. Basically, up until now, we just scavenged, and it wasn't, it's not much of living, I gotta say. Well, we've been through a lot, and I gotta say, even though we've had different experiences, I definitely agree with you. It's not much of a life. Although, with the CDC, we've sort of started to Wait. build a little bit of a community. The CDC? That's still a thing? Yeah, where do you think we um, got your radio, radio signal from? Yeah. But you guys are... You guys are set up! Well, we could be better off, but it's part of the reason we came to find you. Every good person helps, and, you know, we can use the resources, to be honest with you. Besides, we weren't going to just leave someone out here. The CDC has radio towers that scan all the frequencies in the area, and, well, when we heard your radio signal, I made up my mind we had to come save you. Well, it's a good thing there's still good people out there. I was starting to lose hope. I didn't even think the CDC was still a thing now. Look, and Nick, again, I don't trust this place. We should keep moving. Yeah, you're right. right well, we are kind bit of too exposed here. Yeah. Look, there's there's a little alley that we can take up here that might might be a little safer, but... You sure you trust know where that. you're going, Saber? Seems like we've been just walking... Well, just walking for a while. How far away is this camp again? Look, I told you it was a few hours away. I mean, if you guys aren't willing to walk that far, you can back out right now. No, it's it's fine. 
We have to see these raiders. We have to know. Yeah, yeah. just keep Go. an eye out and watch you guys' backs. Yeah, I mean, I can't do much. Just make sure those things don't get too close. I've only got an axe. You're gonna have to learn how to defend yourself soon. It's not all peaches and roses out here anymore. Speaking yeah, you already look a bit beat up. Uh, yeah, how's my back doing, by the way? It's in a little bit of pain. You'll we'll live. You'll be fine. Up. Just rub some dirt on it. We'll what? get you patched up better at the CDC. We have doctors there and medical equipment better than just the med pack we used on you earlier. Oh, here, look, guys, let's take a left through here. All right. I got this one. It's a horde! Everybody, run for cover! I don't have a gun! This way! Come on, man! Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? What happened? I don't know. There, there, there's just so many of them. Oh, man, they're gonna oh, catch us. What about Gray and Shelby? I don't know. We're gonna have to just hope that they survive. Look. They're, they'll make here, it on their in own. here, come on! Jeez. Come oh. on, get in, Nick! Come on! I'm coming, I'm coming! Alright, close, close the door. Close the doors, close the doors! Uh, here, hang on one second! They're still out there? Don't. Okay. I got it, I got it! Move, move, man, move! Oh, jeez, they're there. Block it, block it! Oh, no. It's like oh. the horde's right okay. outside. Look, it, we're gonna get out of this, alright? Just Look, calm down, Look, you gave down, me that Saber. axe, right? Okay, yeah. okay. Calm down. Look, just look somewhere and try and find something in these chests that can help us. There has to be something okay. left behind. Uh, here, it's just rotten food, man. There's nothing. Uh, this place has already been looted. Man. All right, look, look. We can do this. We can make it out. Just, maybe we can fight our way out. we're going to make it out, man. We're dead. There's nowhere to go. I've only got half a clip left, too. Maybe if we break the window and start- No, don't break the window! What are you thinking? They're gonna crawl in here! Look, we have to do something. We have to take them out. There's only one- There's only one exit here, and- Maybe there's something in the Look. back room. Let's- let's check here. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, there's a chest. Bunny ears, nothing. Uh, Man, the horde's uh, really getting big out there. Wait, what's this? We're doomed! What? Looks like there's a hatch. I don't know where it leads, but- it looks like it's our only choice. If we stay Better in here... Better than going out there. It's not going to be long now. Those barricades won't hold, and neither will the windows. I think that's <sighs> our best option. All right. Well, I guess... Who goes first? I've got the gun. Just watch my back and tell me if things start to go bad up here. All right, I got it. Just go down. I think we lost the horde. That was a close one. Did you see where Nick and Saber went? I wasn't looking. It all happened so fast. I didn't even notice they were gone. They must have gotten pushed further away by the other half of that horde. We should try and circle back around and meet up with them. Come on. Alright, I think we're clear for now. Come on down. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Look, there's a few walkers and... You've got my axe, so you're probably going to have to take them out. I've only got 27 bullets left, and we don't know what we're going to run into down here. I don't know about this, man. We're down in the sewers. We lost Gray and Shelby. Do you even know where we're going? Look, if we can find another access hatch like the one we came down, we should be able to come up somewhere where the Horde isn't going to see us. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. We can't go fight our, fighting our way back there. I mean, the Horde's definitely bigger than 27 bullets. Here. <gasps> I got it. I got it. Besides, I've used these tunnels before. Not these particular ones, but they're usually pretty clear besides a few walkers. We shouldn't run into more right. than a couple. Hey, Here, well, I'll watch I, I the guess corner. I'll, I'll make sure none of them get too close. Heads up, there's one on your right. All right, can you take that guy out? Yep, yep. One more. Oh, man, I don't like this, man. This place smells awful. I don't either, but come on, let's keep moving. There's a guy on your front. Okay, yep, yep. All right, take him out. Man, Saber, you're really holding your own. Yeah, well, adrenaline's rushing through me. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to stay alive, I guess. Take that guy out. All right. I got him. Looks like we're uh, clear. I don't know how to get out of here, but this gate looks pretty solid. We should probably just keep moving. 
You think maybe I can knock it out down with my axe? It's too risky. There's too many walkers here. You can't take the time to break it down. Look, behind you. Watch out. What? Good save. Got ten bullets left. We gotta make them count. Here, this isn't point. good, man. All right. It's the best we yeah, have. Yeah, one more. All right. Here, peek around the corner and tell me what you see. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot, man. Back up. Back up. Okay. Look, we're gonna have to make a break. Head to the left. Head to the left. It's clear. Okay. Okay. Uh. I'll cover you. Oh, jeez. Look, all man, right. I've never been in a situation like this before. I don't know if I can do this. Just keep moving, all right? We can't go back. There's too many of them. They've already clogged the exit. Right here, right here, Nick. Okay, all right. You up <gasps> oh, first. thank goodness. I'm out of ammo, okay. but I'll cover you. All right. I'm going up. All right. We're clear. I'm right behind you. <sighs> oh, man. That was a long ladder. Well, All right. I think we made it. Looks like the horde doesn't know where we ended up, and seems like this is a much quieter part of the city. Thank goodness. Well, what about Shelby and Gray? We split up. How are we going to find them? I don't even know where we are, to be honest, but don't worry. If I know Major Gray, he's looking for us, too, and between him and Shelby, they can handle themselves. All right. Hey, you got any water for me, man? I don't, but here, take these peaches. Wait. Oh man, peaches. Look, there they are. Nick. Oh. Oh, hey! Wait, guys! I, I forget your name, but hey! Major the Gray. name's Saber! I'm so glad we found you guys! I'll never remember that. Oh, I can't well, believe it. Well, I'm glad it. you guys are okay. The horde, oh, I'm it just, tired. it split us up and, well, never mind. Uh, We're all back together now. Yeah, nobody's hurt? Right. No, we yeah, managed I, to escape I, through a convenience store and we, well, we crawled through the sewers to make it here, but in the end, we yeah. made it, so that's fine. Not hurt? Any more than I was, That's I good. guess. Ugh, no wonder you guys smell. What? Here, Saber, take this. There's not much water in it, but it'll have to do oh, for now. I, it's alright, I love peaches, man. Up. I'm hungry. Does anybody have something to eat? Uh, I've well, got you this can have cereal. some of these peaches. Oh. oh, yes, old cereal. My favorite. That's the last of the food, though, guys, so we're gonna have to find some more. And right, better I'll, yet, I'll save it's, these peaches. Getting narc it's getting dark right now, I think. Yeah, the sun's about to set. We probably only have about 30 more minutes of light. I don't think we're going to well, make look, it to the Raiders base tonight. But, How far but, away but is it? Guys, that? guys, my my wife's there. And we're only half a mile out. We can make it. A half a mile? No, it's a bit too close for comfort. Far. We don't want to be stuck outside in the dark with hordes all over. It's too risky. But my wife. Besides. Look, we should be looking for shelter. Look, yeah. I'm sorry, man, but I don't trust the city in the dark. I don't even trust it in the light. We need to find shelter for the night. Besides, All if we right. don't have any chance of taking them by surprise, it's best to do it in the morning. They're probably expecting... Well, I don't know what they're expecting, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Your wife will be fine. We'll get her tomorrow. Okay, guys. I, I guess. Well, Let's go look for shelter. Okay. We should All probably right. find some sort of building or well, just about anywhere that we can hold up. You know what? Maybe Actually, some nails for dinner. Why, why don't you guys go on ahead? I, I can catch up. I... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check for something. I, I think I saw something back here that might come in handy. Maybe some supplies. Are you sure? Shouldn't someone go with you? It's not good to be no, alone. No, it's not safe out there. No, I. Yeah, can... come on, man. It's okay. I'll go with you. Look, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go look for these supplies on my own. You guys said so yourself. I can. I need to learn how to do this on my own. Okay, practice will make it better. I can do it. Okay, just I'll catch up with you guys. All right, if you're sure. Come on, Stay Major alive. Gray. We should be searching for I'll catch shelter up. anyway. We're getting close. They don't suspect anything. We should be there by sunrise tomorrow. Hey, look up here, guys. This building's kind of broken down, but if we can move the debris, it might not be a bad area. And this looks pretty nice. Let me try. Looks pretty <coughs> heavy. Maybe we That's not moving. Uh, guys, there's some walkers over here. Oh. Huh? All right, save your ammo. We can probably yeah, take them out by hand. Yeah, we don't need to waste hand. any. Uh, Saber's got my axe. Uh, well, Major Gray, maybe we can break in through one of these windows. They don't seem too thick. I don't have my axe, but we could use Shelby's katana. Hey, guys. Come over here. There's something weird. Hmm? There's Why? just some raw meat lying on the ground. I would guess that's what was attracting those walkers over here. Raw meat? This looks like it's been freshly cut. 
Why would someone just drop this unless... Hmm. Maybe someone Probably was passing nothing. through the area and just didn't realize their bag was open. I don't know, but exactly. That's let's not touch that. That could be contaminated. Should probably yeah, go on. I think too. I think I have an idea. Here, stand back. All right. Yeah. These guns are used for more than one thing. All right. Come on in, Shelby. I'll watch right. your back. It's all clear now. It's so weird. Ooh. Looks all clear up there. Clear every room. It's good. Okay, well, I think we should spend the night here. It seems like it's a pretty secure building, and with those barricades in front of the door, I don't think anyone's getting in, not even walkers. I don't know how like I feel about these windows, though. Yeah, we can push a we few of these. Those up. Yeah, we can push a few of these couches guys. up. Oh, Saber, you're back. Hey, guys. Yeah, I got some supplies. I don't know how much, how long they're gonna last, but it's it's all I could find. So sorry about that. That's but all right. Here you go. Jeez. And Ooh. I got a little bit of raw meat. I don't know if we can even cook that. Where did you get these? Don't don't worry about it. Okay, just they're here, aren't they? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I could use a nice cooked meal. Maybe we can light up a fire on the second floor. Thought the building looked. <sighs> no, we'll great probably have it. to go to. The, we'll probably have to go to the roof. Let's take a look. Uh, I'll look. Uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa! You guys are sounding like you're just gonna set up, set up camp here. What about my wife? No, Saber. We already told you, it's safer for everybody, your wife included, if we wait until morning. There's we just... wait till morning. We're we're gonna run out of time. If what we if, if we go what now, if it's too late. If we go now, we're not gonna have the advantage. We need to have this element of surprise. Trust me, we've done this before. <sighs> okay, fine. You don't know who you're I'll dealing wait. with here. These raiders. They're the people we think they are. They've done some pretty bad things, and, well, you want to make sure that you have the upper hand. Well, you guys sure do sound like you know more than me, so I'll have to take your word for it. What about this exactly. roof, Major Gray? Do you see anything up here that we could use to light a fire? Maybe some debris? It looks like it's all brick. Uh, uh, we got some cloth up here, though. Well, I guess we, we got like some that old, meat. old beds we can... No, I can scavenge it together. Well, we'll get a fire going before long. I think Maybe I'll you guys could uh, find me a gun eventually, or? Well, just <laughs> yeah, worry that's funny. about. We'll just we'll just worry about that later. You know, you don't need a gun with us. We'll protect you. And, All right. You know, I think I'm gonna let you guys. I think I'm gonna let you guys handle dinner. I've got some rice I can eat, and I think I could use some sleep. So I'm gonna call it an early night. Okay, Nick. I'll see you soon. All right. You guys handle the lockup. Yeah, we'll handle it. All right. You get Good night, some rest. guys. Good night. See ya. Good night. What's that noise? It sounds like walkers. Oh no, I hope they didn't get through the barricade. Just take it slow. <gasps> Saber. Huh? Oh, what? Uh, hi. Hey, Nick. Hey. What are you doing? I thought I heard walkers down here. Um, nothing. I was, I was just, I was checking how many supplies we have left. Don't want to run out on food now, right? I'm just a little hungry is all. Wait, is that Shelby's bag? Why were you digging through that? I, uh, I, I was worried she wouldn't have enough supplies for tomorrow. Well, look, we've all got plenty of supplies. Here, have some rice if you're really hungry. Thanks. You need to be more careful than that, Saber. I, I could have really hurt you. I was coming down to sweep the area for walkers, and if it wasn't light out, if we didn't have these torches burning, I might not have known it was you. Uh, well, I'm glad you didn't shoot, man. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Well, look, we've got a big day tomorrow, and... If you want to get your wife back, you're gonna have to pull your own weight, even though you're not comfortable with it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm just nervous, is all, man. I just, what if we, what if, what if we don't make it back out? There's just so much that could go wrong, you know. Here, don't worry about that. Do you still have that axe I gave you? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Can you break the top half of this window? Sure. There you go. Thanks. All right. 
I think that's the walker that was making all the noise. We should be safe now. And all right. Saber, I know you're not comfortable with all this, and it's still new to you, but just try to act like you've been here before, all right? If not, we could yeah. all get hurt. All right, we'll do, man. And, and Nick, Nick, look, I've, I've never met people as good as you. Just thanks. Well, it's no problem. You do the same for us. I know it. Just get some yeah. sleep. It's going right, to be man. a big day tomorrow. Will do. Tired. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. Oh. Hey, Nick. Come on over. We're just oh. eating breakfast. Breakfast? Thanks. Yeah, we have a wide selection of uh, cornflakes. Different stale cornflakes. Exactly. Well, I guess we can't be pickers. I mean, could be eating it's that actually meat that Saber favorite. brought. Yeah, wherever oh. that came from. Speaking of Saber, where is he? Is he not awake yet? Oh. I think he's still asleep in his room. I haven't seen him. Yeah, I'm guessing so too. Come on, sit down. I caught him snooping around last night looking for food. Poor guy just doesn't know how to handle himself in this type of environment. I mean, with the walkers and, well, everything else that's been going on, his wife being taken, I just don't know if he's going to make it. Pretty strange he found food pretty easy yesterday. Yeah, that, that is kind of strange. Well, at least we have our food. And, you know, I kind of like cereal. It brings me back to the good old days, you know, before all this. Yeah, cereal used to be my favorite food. Really? Well, <laughs> favorite food? What you like? Well, these right here, the cornflakes. These used to be my favorite, actually. Oh, oh well, okay. Here, you take this, then. I, I don't need to take an extra box. You can have that. I've got an MRE I can manage off of, and besides, I'm more of a marshmallow type of guy, although, to be honest, I, I haven't seen marshmallows in a long time. Very long Can't time. handle another MRE for a while. And that's all they made us eat back in uh, mission days. Well, enough small talk, enough chit chat. We should probably get ready to go. It's gonna be sunrise soon, and we want to have the element of surprise if we're gonna take out Red's men. Exactly. All right. Well. Okay. Shelby, you want to go wake Saber up? Yeah, I'll go get him. All right, Gray. Let's help me move these barricades, and we'll make sure the perimeter's clear. Yeah. Three, two, one. Uh! Alright guys, it should be somewhere down this road. Alright, well, keep an eye open. Jeez, I no, walkers in the road. Oh no, there's a few oh, in man. this baseball field too. Man, I'm gonna try and take these out. You guys watch our front. Uh, yeah, someone, someone wanna cover me here, Gray? Got you. Don't you worry. Okay. Here, Saber. Watch your backs. Come on over here. There's there's a few walkers. Up more down out. here. All take right. Take these out with your axe. I got him. <sighs> you good? Oh, man, this is easier than I thought. Now, watch out. There's more of them. All right. Come on, guys. It should be. Wait. Hang on. I I can't I can't tell. But wait. Let me just get a little closer. Oh, that's it, guys. Right there. That's the place with the trucks on the other side of that wall. All right, That's the well, compound. Gray, we should we should stick to silence weapons only. Don't want to let them know exactly. we're coming. Oh, what do you guys say we do? I mean, I don't know what come to on. do. I, all I know is that it's wall. here. Post up. All right, come on, come on. Okay, when we head inside, remember, we're only taking out people with gas masks. We don't know who else they have here. What do you mean, gas masks? Well, gas masks. raiders. Didn't you see gas masks when they kidnapped your wife? That's what all the cannibals wear. Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 um, I, I, yeah, that's what I, sorry, I thought, I thought you meant something else. Yeah, no, you're right, yeah, gas masks. Okay, well, were they wearing them or were they not? Uh, half and half, maybe they were just, I mean, yeah, I think they were wearing them, yeah. What, what does that mean, you think? Did you see them? Look, we don't well, have I don't know, man, this. okay, my wife was being taken. How could I focus on their faces, okay, just... Look, can we just get my wife now? Listen, we don't have time for this. Come on. Let's go. All right. Okay. okay. I need everyone to set up a perimeter around the gate. Shelby, you, you coming with me? No, watch out! <sighs> oh. I got you. Thanks, Thank you. Saber. Really okay, saving no me. Shelby, 
Come All in right. with me. Ready? Yeah. Three. I got your back. Two. One. Yo, walkers ahead. Alright, everyone be careful. Come on, guys, take him out with me. Alright, I got him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much, so I'll just stay behind you guys. Alright, push up, guys. We gotta find the entrance. Looks like, oh, if we can try and avoid the board here. right there, we should be good. Yeah, watch every corner. Oh. Couple more. Oh no, there's more. Saber, you're gonna have to use your axe, bud. Come on, I'm All out right. of ammo. Okay, I got him, I got him. Any more? I hear one. I think he's on the other side of the wall, I think. All right, we'll spread out. Try and find an entrance. There's got to be a door somewhere. Maybe this gate right here? Is this unlocked? Hey, here. Nick, come here. All right. Here, come and try, help me try one to lift one of these gates. All right, uh, Saber, stand here and just tell yeah. us if the horde starts moving. we Will do. I'll let you guys know. All right. Yeah. Here we Ready? Go. Get one of, the, on three. one of the things. One, two, three. <laughs> We got a couple zombies <sighs> getting a little closer, guys. Uh, that's not moving. Shelby, can you take those zombies out? Yeah, I can handle this. Watch out. I don't out. think this is going to work, Gray. I think we're going to have to find another way out. In in. Well, yeah. All right. Let's take a look. Huh. I'm bad with hey, that Shelby, you're pretty good with that sword. Yeah, that is my preferred weapon. Huh. Come on. Watch out, take Shelby. Out. Can you guys find it weird that there's no people out here? Well, maybe they haven't cleared the yard yet. I mean, seems like exactly. there's a lot of walkers out here for a base, so that's probably why. Yeah. Okay, one left. I'll take care of him. I don't need to use any more ammo than necessary. Wait, Gray, looks like looks like that might be the doorway right there. Oh. Watch oh. out. Oh, wow. Thanks, Shelby. All right. I think we're all clear now. All right, well, yeah, that's definitely the door, but why aren't there any guards outside? This is a bit suspicious. I don't like it. They must just not know we're here. Come on. Let's let's go inside. I'll lead the okay. way, Major. Ready? Careful. Go. Where is everyone? Did we miss them? There weren't any guards posted outside. Only walkers. Saber, are you sure this is the right place? Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't, I don't really know. What's going on here? I'm sorry, okay? He... he made me do it. I don't understand. If this building is empty, then... Well, I guess the jig is up. But, you should know, Nick. This building is far from empty. Ross, you're alive? A little worse for wear, but I'll survive. The real question is whether you and your friends will. How did you find us? That's the beauty of it all, Nick. You found me. I knew all I had to do was lure you out. You and your group are so predictable. But why? Why lure us out? Why not just attack the CDC like you did the White House? You really don't get it, do you? Get yeah, what? Nick, what's this guy talking about? It didn't start out as a virus, you know. I always wanted to push the boundaries of science. It wasn't until I developed a working prototype that I realized exactly the magnitude of my creation. I understand this may all be very confusing to you. In the end, you may come to understand. Or you may not. All of that depends on you. I don't need to understand anything. I'm ending this once and for all. I wouldn't do that. You'll need the bullets. It's alright. It took me a long time to understand, too. I thought using the world as my lab was the ultimate experiment, but alas, the first trial is never perfect. Nick, behind you! Jeez. Oh, man. All right, reloading. Everyone watch your backs. There, there's going to be a good. lot of them. They oh could God. be coming from anywhere. All right. Saber, what are you Nick. doing? Get out and fight. You have my axe. Oh, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll uh, you guys look like you're handling yourselves. I'm going to go ahead. Just, uh, I, I'll, I'll watch your backs from over here. It's okay. All right. I think we might be clear. Gray, do you see any more? 
I don't hear anything. I don't see any. All right. I think we made it out. What are you doing? Why would you lead us whoa. here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, look, look. I didn't know, okay? I didn't know this was going to happen. You didn't know? Give me one look. good reason I shouldn't put a bullet in your head. Uh, look. Ross promised me supplies, okay? My wife... My wife, my wife doesn't exist. There's no such thing as my wife, okay? He told me that if I lured this group that looked like you guys over here that he would give me endless supplies and, and food and it doesn't look like I can handle myself, okay? I just, he didn't tell me that there would be good people. I thought you guys would be like bandits or something. Just, I didn't know. So what you're saying is you don't have a good reason. Look. No, no, stop. Nick, turn around. What? What are you doing, Major? You can't be serious. Look, we don't have time for this. Come on! We have to get Ross. Alright, that's true. Might not have gone too far. Alright, let's search the area and we'll deal with you later. Whoa, whoa, what, what about me? You guys are just gonna not let me have a weapon? I'm handcuffed! Yeah, well you should have <laughs> thought of that before you betrayed us. You'll survive. You'll be with us. You're not letting- you're not going out of my sight. Come on, walk. Hey. Alright, you take point, Major. Come on, keep moving. Yeah. Let's check yeah. over here. Anything, Major Gray? Not yet, but... Look, guys, I'm feeling uh, we're right on the right trail. Uh, these handcuffs are kind of tight. You mind loosening Shut them up. just like a bit? <sighs> Look, you're not going anywhere. Just accept it. Major, hey, it Nick. looks like the front door is pretty clear. Ross could have made it straight out and not run into any walkers. Come on. Over here. Check this out. All right, Shelby, watch Guessing. him. Yeah. No. You really hey, think Shelby, we can trust detective. you again, Saber? Uh, We're not going to loosen that. We can't trust you after what hey, you did. We're trying to find Ross here. I'm not the best detective, but I'm guessing this is where he came out. The store was closed before, so yeah, it's a pretty safe bet. That means, if I was him and I was trying to get away, these bookcases, these file cabinets, I think we'd be able to jump right over. Yeah, look, you can get right <laughs> over the wall from here. <sighs> okay, let me go down first. <clears throat> All right. All right, Saber, uh, you get up there. I don't know if I can do that with my hands tied. Well, well you're you gonna have to try. try. Okay, okay, okay. What's okay, the hold okay, up okay, over okay. there? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Let's just give me, give me some. Give me some time. Oh, man. Ow! Ugh. All right. You go, Shelby. Huh. Come on. All right. Where do you think you could have gone? You could be anywhere by now. Really don't. But you know, if I was him, I'd want to get somewhere secure. Look, like guys. a building with walls and barbed wire? Oh, well, that's convenient. It's our best Let's shot. Let's check this out. If he's not Stay here, Stay with us, Saber. Probably... Don't back away. Yeah, hey, Saber, What are you doing? What, guys? Why can't you just let me go? I mean, none of you got hurt, right? Can't you just so uncuff exactly me and... Why? Look, you'll never see me again, I promise. Just, just take the cuffs off. No. No. You're lucky that you're alive. If it was up to me... Well... Let's just say I don't have quite the same amount of compassion as Major Gray for traitors. Especially ones that work with people like Ross. Now keep moving, unless you want time. me to make you move. Come on. You know, Saber, these are good people. And what you did, they took me in too. And I, they didn't know me, but they gave me their food and they gave me their trust. But you took that for granted. That's disappointing. People like him, Shelby, they're weak. He doesn't know how to survive on his own. Probably doesn't Look, even you know guys what it's don't like understand the scenario I was in, okay? I understand Can't... plenty. I understand I that you worked with Ross and that you betrayed our trust when we were trying to do nothing but help your wife, who Nick, doesn't even Nick. exist. What? Come on. Okay. Look, we don't have time to deal with. I want to hurt him as just as much as you do, but we have to find Ross. Get back here. Shelby, watch him. Don't let him out of your sight. I'll keep an eye on him. Come on. Don't try and look way too tall and he looks too sturdy to get through. What are we gonna do? But I carry one of these on me at all times, so. Done. 
All right, come on. You first, Saber. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know about this, guys. Why are we doing this? Why can't we just go back to the CDC? We're not going anywhere until we figure out what Ross is planning. We haven't seen him in a long time, and to be honest, I'm surprised it was him and not Red. Oh no, come on. Let's keep looking for him. All right. Let's take a look. Maybe one of these buildings. He must have set up a camp somewhere. This is as place looks good nice a place enough. as any. Like anything, anything in there, in though. Here. Wait. That. What's what? Down there. Huh? Barbed wire in front of the uh, one of the hangars. Looks like the door's open, too. All right. We should definitely check this out. Shelby, keep him in front of you. Make sure he doesn't try and dart off on his own. Yeah, keep moving. Look, you don't need to put that sword so close to my back, Shelby. Keep moving. Hey. Oh, great. Ready, Nick? I see lab equipment. This is definitely it. Come on, let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Nobody's home. I guess he must have left. He probably knew we would find this base. Well... Let's take a look around and see what we can find. There's got to be some sort of clue as far as what he was planning. You don't move. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been hearing that all day, okay? I'll just stand right here, okay? Jeez. All right. Man, medical supplies. What are these different syringes and formulas? Major Gray, you finding anything over there? I found uh, some medical supplies over here. Not much, though. All right, well, there must be something useful and... Wait, what are all these journals? I know Ross. What keeps... about him? Well, there's just so many of them. I know Ross keeps journals, but even for him, this is a lot. Wait, this one's not finished. Let me read the last entry. Day 46. Nick, Corey, and Uni continue to wander the woods aimlessly? I feel that they would have died if they didn't meet Bobby. Bobby guides them to the edge of the woods. My hypothesis is that Bobby will join the group. Wait. So, if this is what Ross is writing his journals about, then he must have been watching us since, well, since at least DC. That means when we didn't find his body, he must have been alive all along. How could I have been so stupid? There's hundreds of journals in here. Check the other chests. Gray, he's getting away. Let's go. Look, just, just go away. Leave me alone. Come on, Major. He's getting away. He's going for the uh. exit. I'm just gonna shoot him. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. Look, him. don't shoot me. Don't shoot. Just, just please, just take these handcuffs off and let me go. Don't I won't. Move. I won't ever let you guys. I, I won't. I won't get in the way. Nothing. Just, please. It's too late for that. Uh. Major, I'm sick of this. We should just end it here. He's too much of no. a liability. He knows about our group. He knows where we're staying. And more importantly, he works with Ross. Look, I obviously bit off more than I could chew, guys. Okay, look, I, d I don't know about Ross or anything, okay? I was just promised supplies. Hey, guys, I don't know about any of this stuff. I found something back there that you should probably take a look at. Get against the wall. Great, keep him up against the wall. Face the wall, Saber. Trust me, Nick. I know what to do. All right, don't let him out of your sight. I don't want to have to run again. What did you I find, found Shelby? this map. This map, and it shows the CDC and, and everything around it for miles. The CDC? Wait, wait, what? Yeah, I found... It was tucked between the pages of one of those journals back there. Wait. If Ross has been following us all the way from D.C., I didn't get a chance to read all those journals, but it stands to reason that he probably knows where we're staying, and... He has the map of the CDC and the layout. That could be his next target. We need to get back to the CDC. <sighs> Come on. Look. We've been away for too long. We need to go now. Well, what are we going to do about this guy? We can't just leave him here. He, he could be still working with Ross. Slow down. And if you slow us down. Don't. Look, I, You're going to be receiving a worse end than you already are. Just don't kill me, okay? I'll do whatever. But Walk. Let's no. go. Run. 
You guys don't know what Ross is capable of. The CDC, I don't think any defenses are going to be enough. The White House didn't even stand a chance.